if you want the answer, uh, yeah, I could give the money back. It is within my power. Um, but I'm going to look out for myself and not do that. I, I you know, I don't like know what else to say. Really, That's like, just the most honest zero? answer. Leafy, thanks for 10 months. Yo. Yo, what's up? What's up? Hey, man. Hey, yeah, I wanted to call because, uh, I know we've talked about CX coin before and you said, Hey, let, let you know if anything's suspicious and, uh, things are looking mad suspicious. It looks like the coin got rugged. You know anything about that? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, don't keep rugged, up on but, stuff like uh, this. So, I mean, like I heard that he scammed, but I, I didn't even well, know. Well, someone pulled happened. all the liquidity out. That's a, that's a rug, right? The other video. You're watching part two. <laughs> this one? Oh. The famous live streamer Ice Poseidon just scammed his followers for up to half a million dollars, and I'm going to prove it. He personally profited $300,000 by stealing money out of a crypto scheme that he set up. And when I confronted Ice Poseidon, who's better known by his real name, Paul Danino, about this scam, is he, he better known by that? Honest. I don't think so. You want to so. keep the money that's not yours that you took from the project, even though you'd failed to deliver. I mean, I'm not really sure what you want me to say, but yeah. I'm trying to like <laughs> get you but to yeah. return the money because it's 100% still available and you could do that. Yeah, I could give the money back. It is within my power. Um, but I won't. But I'm going to look out for myself and not do that. I, I, you know, I don't like know what else to say. That's just the most honest answer. <laughs> now, these influencer scams are becoming more and more common in part because of how easy they are to pull off. Ice Poseidon's scheme apparently took him only two weeks of work to set up before he apparently got bored with the project and decided to stop working on it and just took the money. Like, seriously, how long did you work? I'm just curious. All I can say is a fork, so, I don't know, a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, $300,000. That's, that's a nice Emmy chunk Queen of change. When? Now, I pleaded with Paul, or Ice Poseidon, oh to return the money that he stole. In part, appealing Guys, to the I'm guilt. Guys, I'm making my own cryptocurrency. money from his fans who were all much worse Inspired. off than him. Ice Poseidon's response was that he didn't like how that made him sound. I don't know if you're aware of the fact that your average fan has way less money than you. So you're just taking from poor people. Like you understand that, right? That is definitely not, that, that is not a good way to put it. That's a pretty shitty way to put it, my dude. But it's, it's true, uh, I think it's a pretty shitty thing to do. From the very beginning, this story shocked me. But Boys, I'm gonna make my own crypto coin and I'm also gonna be playing slots 50 hours a week from now on. But at least I'll be streaming more so you guys can't complain, right? Actually, the twist at the end that I can't tell you about yet. But what I can tell you is that this is my most in-depth investigation yet into influencer greed, cryptocurrencies gone wrong, and I'm also blockchain. moving to Mexico. Now, I know it's been a while, so let me remind you, this is the $10 million studio. I'm your host, CoffeeZilla, the internet detective, and well, it's good to be back. What the heck is that? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> In order to understand what happened with Ice Poseidon, we have to rewind the clocks back. The story started rewind when Ice time. Poseidon first got into crypto. I invest in a lot of the like shit coin, like a lot of the, the you, you, you put money in and then you sell in like 20 minutes when it pumps. Ice Poseidon first got into crypto just buying a lot of meme coin. But like many influencers, he quickly realized gambling on another person's coin is a sucker's game. Covered. The fast, easy money is actually getting excited. other people I'm to sorry. gamble on your coin. Now, this moment is important. It's the moment I decided and realized what a gold mine it could be to start his own scam. But you're telling me I could create a CX coin and then coin? people oh, could geez. buy it because I could say that the community is super strong and then I could sell it in 10 seconds and make $10 million. What the f am I doing? Ice Poseidon would later say that the clip you just watched was a joke and that the idea of him scamming his fans was just a bit he played up for the audience. But that core idea that he was missing out on a huge opportunity to make a ton of money was real and it nagged at him. And pretty soon, he decided to start his own coin. CX coin is the one to choose. I'm the founder of CX coin. My name's Paul Zanino, and I decided to make a community driven token that I'm personally gonna be a part of. Now, community almost immediately, driven. this got a lot of attention. Obviously, oh, given Lord. his past comments about sort of scamming people, 
people were understandably skeptical of this. And it came out right after Save the Kids. And you would have thought that myself and other people like Mudahar would have talked about this whole thing. But Ice Poseidon was working incredibly hard behind the scenes, which is something I need you guys to understand. He was contacting people like myself and pleading with us that Obviously, he was just joking wait, back then. And, and he was serious guys, about this point. Guys, it's just a joke. He the wasn't about to pull off a, a scam like Save the Kids. He was different. He even mentioned it's in live streams joke. that Why Save the Kids laughing? was going to make what he was about to do much harder. I know about the phase coin, Steezy. That's why I'm trying my best to be as transparent as possible. I've been working on this for like a month now, and I wasn't going to let that drama stop me, but it definitely makes it a little bit uh, more difficult. Ice Poseidon repeatedly told skeptics that he couldn't rug this coin if he wanted to. He had locked all his money up in a smart contract he told me that in DMs. He said, don't worry, no rug here. All the money is locked, lol. And look, what? I have to admit, I was busy at the time <laughs> with some other investigations and I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Something that I obviously regret now. Periodically, I would hear, you know, complaints from his community that they thought something was off. But every time I'd go to ICE, he would immediately respond immediately and he always gave me something that sort of sounded reasonable and i later learned he was doing the same thing with everyone who said something negative about cx coin in fact he got a dextero article killed about <laughs> cx coin the being dextero a scam article. I, mean, I even asked him about this at the time and he said this dextero article went up and then down did you see that yeah i emailed dex proof i wasn't scamming so leaving that up quoting a twitter with two likes is a bit unfair to me the point i'm trying to make is he was playing the pr game hard telling everybody he was different he even gave me his wallet addresses and told me to hold him accountable he wasn't going to do anything shady and everyone sort of felt like, okay, maybe, maybe he's doing something different. You know, maybe everything he's been saying was, you know, just a joke. Cause it, dude, if I see it, if I see it, a million dollars, I'm selling. I don't give a f I'm not going to be like, I'll hold for you guys, bro. I see a million dollars in my portfolio. I'm out. Not going to lie. That looks bad, but I'm going to be really generous here and give ice the benefit of the doubt. That clip probably was a joke and it was probably made before he was actually right. thinking about making CX coin into a real thing. Now, as time moved on, I and many other people okay, sort of dude. forgot about CX coin until January when I decided to take a break for a little while. And while I was off, I couldn't help but feel that there was something else going on. I just had a hunch I had to look back. So with my free time, I joined the CX Coin Telegram and started tracing back the wallets that Ice Poseidon had given me so transparently. And pretty soon I found out that, well, he gave me the wrong crypto wallet. Whoops. Uh -oh. He gave me the DX sale wallet instead of his personal wallet, which didn't tell me anything. For example, one of those things at he least didn't tell he warned me was the, the fact that he took out two hundred thousand dollars from the that's, liquidity that's pool true. at the very that's beginning, true. which is directly at odds with what Ice Poseidon told me himself when I asked. He said, don't worry, all the money is locked up, except for $200,000, I guess. But it also hit another story, which was the misappropriation of the so-called marketing wallet. Now, according to CX Coin's own white paper, the marketing wallet was to be used exclusively to, quote, fund marketing campaigns in the cryptocurrency market. But in the Telegram, there was another Wait, story the going on. Ice Poseidon Coker? was complaining that he had spent money on an ad campaign and it, no it just hadn't helped. Quote, we spent 53K on a BTOC and it hasn't really helped. Oh, shit. The wallet is limited. Whoa. Wait, this is cool. Fuck, what did I just do? I just had six nine. I thought oh, yeah, it was funny. Yeah, yeah. oh, it wasn't Wait, they have like fancy ass yeah. cameras. They're all yeah. mic'd up and stuff. Yeah, I thought it was funny. It's crazy you call it Queen's Heaven. Yeah. So Wait, this is fancier than anything that I can do. Yeah, there's no way you can beat both of us, right? It's sponsored? Yeah, it's sponsored. And I had eight something. And he told me what he had ahead of the flop. That's yeah. a good hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We had really like, similar Are games. they playing? Yeah, you guys did. Yeah. Where's oh, the... Oh, you two. Oh. Your cards. That's a joke. I don't know. I can't tell what's happening in play, honest, though. I didn't know what was happening, but all my hundreds were gone, and I was like, they're going to be what gone anyway. Time? Yeah. Okay, Flawless logic, anyway, in my so opinion. Cool. So, guys, we'll do a little poker lesson right now. Oh, my now. God, so she's in my ear. That scared the shit out of me. And 6-9 is called... Scared me. He berated people who complained. You want me to spend 30K on stuff that doesn't help? Or you want me to think about the best ways to use marketing money? Exactly. You can't use the marketing money on, well, you know, marketing. Instead, 
the money seemed to go somewhere else. Shortly after this coin launched, Ice Poseidon bought himself a brand new Tesla. This video was published July 24th, and as he says, he bought it a week ago, putting it right around the time that he launched the coin and realized he had suddenly gotten a lot of money to his name. But I'm sure all that money is locked up, right? Apparently not. And here's the interesting thing. The longer things went on, Ice Poseidon just sort of gotten more and more brazen with the way he used the money, right? At first, it was just sort of sitting around. Then he started sending it to cash out wallets. And eventually, I calculated that there's roughly a quarter of a million dollars missing from that marketing wallet. But that's not all. Ice Poseidon had uh -oh. tricked his followers Where at this point gone? by getting them to buy into a vision of a long-term project. The whole idea was that this was going to be a donation platform for he still He still streams, doesn't take he? take a while to build. He kept reiterating this again and again. I mean, this is a long-term project. Oh, I'm trying oh, to, you know, we're making a donation oh. platform. So I'm going to put that on my stream and this coin yeah, will just be around so just for gone? the entirety of my streams. He said this a lot in the do? Telegram too. You know this is long-term, right? Vanish? Thanks guys, I assume everyone is in it for the long haul. Oh. Anyone who invests in something should know this was a long-term project. So Dang. one week is not going to see results. Now later I would find out this was a lie. Ice Poseidon did not see this as a long-term project. He actually gave up after two weeks. But I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself. The point is, Ice was getting brazen. He was increasingly intolerant of people who called him a scammer, saying they just hadn't done their research. He even brought my name into it, saying he had talked to CoffeeZilla, maybe implying that I had cleared him. And I've talked to these f***ing people, CoffeeZilla. I've talked to these guys. I showed them. I showed them the coin. I showed them everything. And you know, they're giving me the benefit of the doubt. So obviously, they would call me out if it was a scam. <laughs> what scam? I'm gonna be honest. Thing, this homie. really pissed me off. Ice Poseidon was using my name to try to imply that he was legit, when in actuality, he had just fed me false information about his coin and begged me not to talk about it. But amazingly, the final piece of this puzzle wouldn't fall into place until a few days ago. As I said, Ice had been getting more and more bold, thinking, I guess, that he had gotten away with this. And on January 22nd, 2022, using his wallet that he didn't tell me about, he drained the liquidity pool, essentially killing his own coin and taking the money from his investors. To be specific, he drained about 90% of the funds, which is about $300,000. Now, for important context, liquidity nice going, pools man. are how you get money out of crypto, right? You can't just cash out Take a coin notes, like Emmy, CX Emmy, coin, oh, right? Oh, you can't God. buy groceries with it. Someone has to be willing to trade you that coin for something that, you know, sort of has value. So coins like yeah, this rely on something called coin. liquidity I'm pools. Start doing sort of pot I'm going to make money. my own Ice Poseidon gambling did, website that, that I own, coin, but I'm not going to tell you guys. He ninety percent of that from his community, which awesome. meant that that's $300,000 that his investors would Big not be able to get back soon. out. And at money this point, laundering, I simply we'll had had enough. Laundering. This was a scam. He had lied to me from the beginning and he had lied to others about it. I'll launder my money by confront, gifting myself subs. I couldn't let him know that I knew I already him, do. Otherwise, he wouldn't pick so up no the call. So I thing. simply told him I wanted to. And to my surprise, <laughs> he agreed. And so on the 26th of January, we had the call you're about to see. And mind you, I'm expecting him sort of to deny everything. <laughs> like who would take credit for this? Well, Ice would, I guess. It looks like the coin got rugged. You know anything about that? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, not rugged, but uh, I mean. Well, someone pulled all the liquidity out. That's <laughs> I a, mean, that's a rug, I right? mean, that would be a rug, I mean, yes. Uh, I mean, it's like, I mean. There is still liquidity I mean. in there. 40K <laughs> got left and 300K got ripped out or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> That is exactly what happened. Right. Are you laughing? I mean, is that funny? Mm, I mean, no. You're hearing this right. He's admitting I mean... he took out 90% of the money, but that's not a rug pull, apparently. He had to do it after all. Uh, the crypto markets were crashing, he and just if he didn't out, take out the money, who would? I mean, the crypto market is crashing, and $300,000 is in there. There's two options, right? Leave the money in there. And then if BNB goes down to like $100, the money goes to shit anyways. Or I could take it and the money is not just going to dust. The money and would, have, still, the and money would have never gone to dust. I mean, it just would go back to the investors when they sold out, when you told them, hey guys, I'm no longer interested in this project. I wipe my hands of I it. You know, you got your 50K like in, you got your 50K much. out. You're Ari, good, thanks for the right? five gifts. What's deliver. up, man? This is not your money. Hey, I, I can't believe you keep thinking of it as like we as your you. money that's going away. 
that's your investor's money, and it should I know be their a bit decision about what the they do Johnny with Depp, it. Amber Heard stuff, but not that much. Okay, I mean, that's Wait. a fair point. <laughs> I would buy an NFT from you, even if you pulled the rug out from under me at Emeru. Oh, thanks, Ari. That's so sweet. That's a fair point. Yet, despite <laughs> all these fair points I kept making, every time Ice got cornered about the fact that he was basically stealing from his investors, he slowly pivoted his language from Oh, this isn't a rug pull to more like, well, the investors <laughs> deserved it. He said, they believe too much in his project and his work. And like part of the responsibility is on like them as well for being, oh my God, you know, we like, could all uh, be putting NFTs too much emotion into it. it. Now, look, I want to be clear. I agree that investing in any influencer coin is idiotic, but the logic here seems to be insane. <laughs> no. They believed yeah. me, so it's okay. I scammed them. <laughs> I asked Dice about this. I don't know if you're trying to say they deserve it. You You're saying NMG's they owe, owe some responsibility. I agree they owe Nick some responsibility, no but do they deserve to get ripped off? No, I mean, nobody deserves that. It's just yeah, I Joel NFT. <laughs> like I said, sometimes you have to look out for yourself. Uh, I don't People really know OTK how else NFTs? you want me to put it. I mean, if you, I mean you could say it in all these different ways to make it sound as horrible as possible. And you know what? I can agree with you on some of those things. I just don't like to put it in those specific ways because it makes it sound like that was the intention from the start, which it wasn't. And there it is, the final refuge of every scammer. I started with good intentions. I meant to do the I right thing. I didn't mean to scam, guys. Ice Poseidon or Paul or whatever. I didn't like, mean to scam. This made no sense because it wasn't as if the money was gone. It wasn't as if it had vanished. He still had it Give and could return it at any point. Pool. He doesn't yes. have to go down as the scammer. So I don't know you why you're acting like it has <laughs> Mackenzie, to end what? with like no, you no. being the bad guy. None That's of not that. what I'm trying to do at all. I'm trying to like, get you to return the money because it's 100% still I didn't mean to cheat on school, uh, the classic. You could do that. I didn't so mean to cheat. that's what I'm not was, understanding. I was just is, tempted. I want to get to that point. I don't think we're going to get there. <laughs> if you want the answer, uh, yeah, I could give the money back. It is within my power. Um, but I'm going to look out yeah, for myself. Yeah, true. I'm not and... even listening. True. I mean, I kind of get the gist that he's like, did you scam? And Ice is like, I mean, that wasn't the intention. But I mean, I mean, like, yes. Wait, should I watch the Johnny Depp stuff? Uh... 